the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers, my dear friends, my dear sisters, today, 27th of April, Tuesday or the fourth week of Easter, today is a great day that the Lord has made for all Togolese. Today is the Independence Day of Togo. Togo got its independence in 1960. Today is 61 years for being independent. Before then, let me sing the hymn, the anthem, the national anthem of Togo. Then from there, we can proceed. Salut à toi, pays de nos aïeux, toi qui les rends des faux, paisibles et joyeux. Cultivant vêtu vaillance pour la prospérité. Que viennent les tyrans, ton cœur soupir et vers la liberté. Togo debout, luttant sans défaillance, vaincons ou mourons, mais dans la dignité. Grand Dieu, toi seul nous a exalté. Du Togo pour la prospérité. Togo, les viands bâtissons la cité. Devise travail, liberté, patrie. We wish all Togolese a happy Independence Day. And for those who do not know, this is how Togolese flag look like. It has all these colors. And uh, why is it important to commemorate the day that people were or became independent? It's very important because it made them free to take their own decisions and to be initiative, not to depend on other people. But the question is, either Togolese are really independent? That's something that is still going through my mind. It's not a political issue here, but we need to pray for them, to support them with our ideas, so that they can really become independent. The readings of this day invite us to learn the language of God. How do we learn the language of God? Yesterday, we were introduced to how to recognize the voice of God amidst other voices, by reading the word of that same God who speaks to us in the Bible, and by prayer. Today also we will emphasize on the aspect of prayer, because the prayer as dialogue means that we use the same language. And God understands all languages. He's the one who created them. God speaks to us in mysterious and various ways. Then, how are we to understand or to learn his language? is true communication. By reading the word of God, of course, we come to know how to, uh, does he speak to us. And by praying, we also open our hearts for him to infuse the Holy Spirit in our hearts, to guide us, to be automatic, to be, uh, to be also original. And connecting it also to Togoli celebration, we should know that like prayer is not reciting prayer, but saying something that comes from your heart, that something that is original to you. And that's why you see in Togolese culture, people are being encouraged and even obliged to bear their original and local names on the official documents. You will never see, except nowadays maybe there is a change, Togolese with foreign names. No, everything is local your grandfather's name, and also your name. And that's why most Togolese have two names, your family name and your name. Like, for example, my names, my official names are, is Karo Dio Homba. Honore is the name that I got when I joined Christianity, when I was baptized, when I became Christian. So our president, Nyasingbe Eyadema, who was the first president, who ruled the country for 38 years, said we should not bear these names in our official document because they are a kind of colonization. We should be authentic. We should be original to ourselves. And I think that's something has left for us also to keep in mind and to grow with it. It's very important for each and every one of us when we want to communicate to God to speak from here, not to recite the prayers to please other people's ears. 
Jesus was with uh, the Jews. He did a lot of works, miracles, but yet they could not recognize him because they have not learned his language. They have not learned to recognize his voice as the good shepherd, as the good pastor. Let us learn through prayer, through reading the word of God, to recognize Jesus as the true pastor, as good, the good shepherd amid everything. Let us support our brothers. We support Togolese as they celebrate their independence today, as I have already said, to be truly independent. We say a prayer for them. Let us say either Hail Mary or our Father who art in heaven so that they may really become independent. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Witness the gospel values by your life. Happy independence to all Togolese.